Good evening, and welcome to our evening Compton prayers, with me, James, and I recommend you find somewhere quiet and comfortable where you can just, yeah, welcome the Lord in now. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you, before the whole company of heaven and one another, that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do, forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord, grant us pardon and forgiveness for all our sins. Time for amendment of life and the grace and strength of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Now this evening we continue on our journey through Psalms. Tonight I bring you Psalm 94. The Lord is a God who avenges. O God, who avenges, shine forth. Rise up, judge of the earth. Pay back to the proud what they deserve. How long, Lord, will the wicked, how long will the wicked be jubilant? They will pour out arrogant words. All the evil doers are full of boasting. They crush your people, Lord. They oppress your inheritance. They slay the widow and the foreigner. They murder the fatherless. They say the Lord does not see. The God of Jacob takes no notice. Take notice, you senseless ones, among the people. You fools, when will you become wise? Does he not does he who fashioned the ear not hear? Does he who formed the eye not see? Does he who discipline the nations not punish? Does he who teaches mankind lack knowledge? The Lord knows all human plans. He knows that, that they are futile. Blessed is the one you discipline, Lord. The one you teach from your law. You grant your relief in days of trouble. Till a pit is dug for the wicked. For the Lord will not reject his people. He will never forsake his inheritance. Judgment will again be founded on righteousness, and all the upright in heart will follow it. Who will rise up for me against the wicked? Who will take a stand for me against evildoers? Unless the Lord has given me help, I will soon have dwelt in the silence of death. When I said my foot is slipping, your unfailing love, Lord, supported me. When anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought me joy. Can a corrupt throne be allied with you? A throne that brings on misery by its decrees? The wicked band together against the righteous and condemn the innocent to death. But the Lord has become my fortress and my God, the rock in whom I take refuge. He will repay them for their sins and destroy them for their wickedness. The Lord our God will destroy them. Lord, thank you that you are with us when we are approached and attacked by the wicked. Thank you that you protect us and keep us safe in your arms. And I pray that we may step out in faith against those who oppress us and try to draw us away from your love. When our feet slip and we find ourselves struggling, the Lord is there. He's with us in all our circumstances we face in life. 
It is up to us as Christians to step out in faith and love and call the Lord to lift us from the pit and keep our eyes above the water. Lord, your love fills us with joy. Thank you for all that you have done for every single one of us. And I pray we may be more grateful as Christians and strive towards spending your joy and love, spreading your joy and love to others and changing our communities. Lord, you are our fortress. You are our what rock whom we take refuge. No matter how bad our situation seems, God is always our rock. I pray as Christians you may remember this in all our lives. So when we are approached by obstacles and moments of struggle and hurt, we may look to the Lord to keep us on our knees and keep us living our lives in him. Thank you, Lord, for the blessing to read your word tonight. Thank you that in our, all our communities and circumstances, in our Christian lives, we can look to you as our rock. who grounds us, keeps us safe. I pray this as Christians we may keep this in our consciousness in all our days and be grounded and lifted from the trenches whenever we're faced with threat from the enemy. I pray all this in your name, Lord. Amen. Sorry, my computer's really loud. I don't know if you can hear that. Sorry. Lord, you've always given bread for the coming day. And though I'm poor, today I believe. Lord, you've always given strength for the coming day. And though I'm weak, today I believe. Lord, you've always given peace for the coming day. And though I have anxious heart, today I believe. Lord, you've always kept me safe in trials. And now tried as I am, today I believe. Lord, you've always marked the road for the coming day, and though it may be hidden, today I believe. Lord, you've always lightened this darkness of mine, and though the night is here, today I believe. Lord, you've always spoken when time is right, and though you be silent now, today I believe. Save us, O oh Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping. That awake we may watch of Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch of Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. May your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In peace. We will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand, and the day is now past. As the night's watch looks to the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. We are placing our souls and our bodies in thy safe keeping this night, O God. In thy safe keeping, O Jesus Christ. In thy safe keeping, O Spirit of perfect truth. The free who would defend our cause be keeping us this night from harm. Amen. Good night. God bless.